everybody so this is part two of my fall haul um, in case you missed it I did part one which was mostly Yankee Candle and now I'm gonna go into the Bath and Body Works now I had told myself that I was gonna pretty much not buy any more Bath and Body Works candles this year um, and the reason is you know I'm fairly new to them you know it's been I think like two years now almost it'll be two years in November and frankly with a few exceptions I haven't been impressed by and large with the candles with the scents I think a lot of them are artificial I heard that they were supposed to be the best throwing candles I had throw issues with some of them and then to top it all off puny wick syndrome so with all those three factors and the, and the fact that there are just so many other, you know, candle companies out there, I was like, you know what, except for a few of my favorites that, you know, have been proven performers, I think I'm pretty much done with them. Well, what happened was kind of like a perfect storm. People in my Facebook group starting, you know, posting pictures of other hauls. And as you guys know, once you start seeing pictures of what people are getting, you're like, oh, you know, maybe I want that. Um, so that's kind of what's happening to me. I start seeing things and people say, oh, I love this, I love this. And people are getting all excited about the Bath & Body Works fall candle. So I started to get, get excited. And then the clincher factor is um, my job relocated me to another office. And I went from, you know, the big corporate office in a, a, a posh town to, you know, a much smaller office in a business district. And, you know, I feel a little bit isolated there, and I just need to get out sometimes. There's not even, like, a common area in the building for me, like, just to escape my office and go somewhere else. So I have to physically leave the building. So I discovered that there is a Bath and Body Works store five minutes from me. It's like a mile and a half down the street. Oh, I am in serious trouble. That's all I have to say because now I have a place to go. Um, they also have like a like a TJ Maxx, a Burlington Coat Factory, and um, oh god there was one other store. I can't think of the name of it. And I checked all of those out last week and basically they were pretty pathetic. So um, they will not be a refuge for me but there's a Bath and Body Works store that I can go to if I feel in need of some escape. So yesterday I decided to check them out and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to go crazy or anything. Um, I kind of had a game plan in mind. Um, they had the, uh, the three week sale, it was buy one, get one free, so you know, a BOGO sale. And then they had a 10 off a 30 coupon. So everybody said the best way to do it is to get four candles and use a coupon. So I was only going to get four candles, four candles, that's it. I knew I wanted to get a lavender vanilla. I knew I wanted to get at least one autumn. And then I was going to kind of check everything out and, and see what was going on. Well, I ended up getting eight. And then I went to White Barn today. I wasn't going to buy any candles, but I did. I did. Yeah, I'm weak. I'm weak. Um, if you hear any hissing, growling, there's kind of a little cat fight going on behind me between Mambo and Tango. Tango was sitting on the cat perch looking out the window, minding his own business as he always does. Mambo was jealous because even though he has another spot that he can sit and look out the window, he wanted Tango's spot. So he literally knocked Tango off the perch and of course now he's not on it. Tango's trying to find another place to relax, and anywhere he goes, Mambo's like, nope, that's my spot, you can't have it. So Tango's a little bit upset right now, and he's fighting back. So if you hear a cat fight, I'm just giving you the background as to what is going on. So what did I get? Well, I did get my lavender vanilla. I got two of them and I was really happy to see this one that they brought it back because I had planned on picking some up during the winter semi-annual sale last year but 
they discontinued it. It used to be in like a blue jar. And I have I have one left from before. So I don't think it's any different. I think it's still the same. I hope it's still the same because I love that candle. I really love that candle. Um, so I hope it burns the same, it throws the same, it smells the same. Um, so I ended up getting two lavender vanilla. I'll turn these around so you know that I'm not lying here. I got two lavender vanilla. And then um, another favorite of mine that I got is Wine Cellar. And this is a repackage of, um, it, what, what was it called, Smoke Berries and Incense it, um, from a couple years ago, which was my first year with Bath and Body Works Candles. And that's when they had the Intrigue and Opulence collection, which I really liked. Um, that was kind of what really got me hooked on Bath and Body Works. Unfortunately, that was probably their best because they've kind of gone downhill from there. Um, but I do like this scent. And, um, you know, the new scent description is fragrant red fruit, rare patchouli, and a touch of saffron to your home wine list. So it's, it, I like this scent. So it was very popular. Um, I think a lot of people are glad that they kept it. Now new for me and like I said this is kind of a collective haul I'm not going to distinguish between what I got yesterday and what I got today um, I did get three more autumns oh no Oop, I'm jumping ahead of myself this warm apple pie now when I smelled this one in the store I really liked it and it says baked Granny Smith apple, melted brown sugar, flaky homemade crust. To me, this really does smell like warm apple pie. Um, I know uh, Anthony in my Facebook group, he, he, he did a, a small haul and he talked about the scent and he didn't like it. He thought there was something off with the apple. And he thought there were more authentic apple scents. Well, uh, most of the time I tend to agree with his opinions. I disagree this time because to me this is the most authentic apple pie smell I've smelled <laughs> so far. Um, I'm always on a search for a good apple scent, a good apple pie scent. And I really like how they did this scent. It really to me smells like warm apple pie filling and you can smell the crust baking. Um, unfortunately I did give this one a quick burn to see if it was hoard worthy if I wanted more and I burned it once last night once today and unfortunately I can't really smell it. Now there's been a lot of talk in my Facebook group about batch variations with the candles. Now I look to see, this is an A1. Let's see what this one is. I haven't even looked yet. I'm assuming it's the same. Oh, this is an A5. So there's a, a theory that maybe some of the higher numbers are better. It's like, you know, the first batch doesn't come out right and they keep on trying until they get it right. So I don't know if that's true or not. Um, but this was light. Now, ironically, with my warm apple pie, the flames were good. I mean, it seemed to burn okay. When I blew it out, I could actually smell it in the air. As it was burning, I couldn't smell it unless I stuck my nose in it. It had like, it had no throat. Um, but the minute I blew it out, it was like, oh, we're, this is a, a beautiful warm apple pie scent. So I'm hoping it either gets stronger as it's burning or if I have two of them, and now that I see I have two different batches, maybe one would be better than the other. Is this tray bothering you guys? It's kind of like really reflecting the light as I'm trying to talk about these. Maybe I should um, set it to the side for now. So. The scent itself, like I said, I really like. I, to me, it smells like an apple pie baking in the oven. So I may have to give 
um, that other batch number a try to see if it throws any better. Okay, let's move that. And so then as I kind of gave it away, I did end up getting three autumn. So now that I'm curious, let's see if these are different batches. This is an A9. This is the one I tested and it threw. So I said, oh, I gotta get more. Oh gosh. Oh my God, I got an A1. I hope my theory is wrong. Two A1s. Well, well, I don't know what to say about that, except time will tell. We shall see. I mean, this is probably my favorite fall candle from Bath & Body Works. I tried it last year for the first time. I fell in love. Um, I wish I had stocked up on then. I, I got, I think, two left from last year in the ombre glass, which I really love that packaging more than this. I mean, this is pretty. It's nice. But I hope they didn't screw this one up. When I first picked it up and smelled it in the store, I thought it smelled a little different. Um, but then when I got it home, it's, it's, it smells slightly different to me, but it's so close, it's really, really hard to tell. So I think it's the same, but, you know, it could just be a, a batch variation. I don't know. I, I hate all this thing about the batches. I mean... We shouldn't have to worry about that. We should be able to smell our candles. Okay, and one candle that I went to get, I knew I was going to get a lavender vanilla. I knew I was going to get an autumn. And I also knew I was going to get an autumn day because everybody was talking about this candle. I guess it came out a couple years ago. It wasn't out, you know, when I started with Bath & Body Works, it was already done. And this is crisp red apple, green fig, white birch and cedar and I believe a former scent description um, had sandalwood listed as one of the notes so I was really excited to get this one and try it because everyone is saying this is the one you have to try and I do like it I mean to me at least in this one what is this batch number now a six um, Cedar is definitely the predominant note. It's a very woodsy fragrance. I don't really pick up any apple. Maybe a little bit of fig, but I, I really don't get any of the apple. But when I was testing it out last night, I really liked Autumn Day combined with Autumn because Autumn, you can smell the apple, and then this has the cedar, and I, I love the two scents together. Now, the only reason you see one of these is because when I went back today, I decided not to get it because two reasons. One, this had major, major puny wick syndrome. I mean, I did not trim the wicks the first burn, and from the very get-go, it had puny wick syndrome. And I did a second burn this morning. It was even worse. So I had to do surgery on the candle. I actually had to cut out some of the wax. So that's why you see it's you know messy along the side. So once I cut out the wax, you know, I poured off whatever I had melted, cut out the sides, the wicks were super long. So long that normally I would trim those wicks. But I said, nope, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna light it, see if it corrects, it, corrects itself. Now, it did burn fine then, but I, as you can see, I've now trimmed the wicks. So we shall see what happens next time I burn it. Now, the wax that I cut out, I did throw in my warmer, and I put it in a tea light warmer, and it threw very well. So if this continues to have puny wig syndrome, I just may melt it down, you know, make wax melts out of it, and just use it that way. I like this one enough, I didn't really want to return it, but I don't love it enough to get more. That's kind of my take on it. I, I do prefer autumn. But when I went to the White Barn today, I discovered this scent. And I end up getting two of these. This is Pumpkin Woods. It's part of the Pumpkin Collection. My White Barn did have the Pumpkin Collection in stock. And in case you are wondering, um, I did take some photos at the end. Oh, I had a little cheat sheet. Let me see if I can find it. 
Okay, I did take some photos at the White Barn of the pumpkin collection because I know, you know, a lot of you out there are really, really excited about the pumpkin collection coming out. Um, this is the only scent I got, but I did take pictures. I'll post them at the end of the video if I remember. Um, unfortunately, the pictures didn't really come out that well. So I tried to write down as many of the scents that I could remember. So as far as I can remember, the pumpkin collection consists of pumpkin fireside, pumpkin French toast, pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin pie, they brought it back, pumpkin coconut, they brought it back, pumpkin woods, pumpkin caramel swirl. Um, by the way, pumpkin woods, this one you see here is a white barn exclusive. Berry pumpkin strudel, which some people think may be a repackage of, I think it was pump blueberry, pumpkin blueberry patch or something like that, or a blueberry bramble tea, I don't remember exactly the names. Um, I did like that one. I almost got it. Um, pumpkin apple, vanilla pumpkin marshmallows back, pumpkin marsh marshmallow latte. And there was also, um, I think it was bana pumpkin banana muffin, something like that. Pumpkin banana muffin. Um, that one smelled okay to me. But truthfully, if you guys want a banana candle, you need to wait for Monday, August 1st, when Goose Creek releases their fall line. They have a candle, fresh banana bread, that knocks the socks off Bath & Body Works banana muffin candle. Trust me, don't waste your money. Go get the Goose, Key, the Goose Creek candle, because that one is fabulous. But anyway, back to Bath & Body Works. So, I end up not getting any of the other candles in the pumpkin collection because frankly I I guess I was not in a sweet mood today I was more in a fresh woodsy note because none of them appealed to me frankly they were so sweet they actually just turned me off I had no interest in them other than like I said the berry pumpkin strudel I could pick up an apple note in there and apple was listed as one of the notes that one maybe I may have to go back at some point in time and pick up one of those and try I was gonna get the pumpkin coconut I didn't I passed it up last year and I was like should I should I not should I should I not I end up not doing it then everybody was saying it was wonderful it was their favorite candle in the collection I smelt it today in the store and it still doesn't I don't know people it just maybe my tastes have changed just nothing in the pumpkin collection really excited me um, I was happy to see the pumpkin pie but I stocked up last year on it I don't need any more um, they had another candle that's not really part of the pumpkin collection it's called pumpkin spice which is supposed to actually be a repackage of nutmeg and spice I did like that one but it's like, you know, it's kind of a generic scent. Eh. I guess I wasn't in a pumpkin mood today. That's, that's all I can say. I was not in a pumpkin mood. So why did I get pumpkin woods? Because there's no pumpkin in it. No pumpkin in it whatsoever. This is, well, I guess a lot of their pumpkin candles don't have pumpkin in it, right? But this is definitely, definitely a woodsy scent. So like I said, I guess I was just in the mood for woodsy scents today. And this is Woodland Spruce, Cedar, Clove Buds, and Smoky Vanilla. And I actually like this scent better than Autumn Day because it has the cedar, but it has that spruce, which I think is it's, it smells more like, you know, their fresh blossom. You have the cedar, kind of that spruce blossom smell, and then the clove. And I was telling, you know, my sales associate, we were, she was walking around sniffing the candles with me, and it's like, this reminds me of something. And it took me a while, and then it hit me. It reminds me of a candle that came out last year, which I only got one of, and I'm kicking myself. I was being good. I was on a wax band, stupid wax band. Um, so I only got one, and I really, really like it. But I don't want to burn it because I only have one. 
So I was like, well, hopefully they repackage it. To me, pumpkin wood smells a lot like chestnut and clove. And I'm not 100% sure if they're an exact dupe. Because even my, my sales associate thought they were really similar. She thought the pumpkin woods might have a little bit more balsam in it than you can pick up in the chestnut and clove. But they're very similar. Very similar. So for those of you who um, have actually burned your chestnut and clove and have smelled the pumpkin woods, I'd be interested in hearing what your opinion is. If you think they are repackages of each other or they just took the chestnut and clove and added a little bit of balsam in it. I mean, sometimes I think I smell a difference, and then sometimes I think I can't. I think they're exactly the same. So, like I said, the, and look at that pumpkin lid, isn't that cute? Um, this is supposed to be a White Barn exclusive. Now, the good news is that apparently there have been White Barns popping up all over the place overnight. In my Facebook group, just yesterday alone, about four or five people mentioned that a, they just found out a white barn was opening up in their town, in their state. So if you don't have one now, don't despair. I think one may be coming to you soon. And the other thing I ended up getting were these pumpkin holders. So let's just kind of clear some space here so you can see behind you. Um, these actually come in three sizes. They have small, medium, and large. I did not get the large because I think it's just too big for my space. The, med the small one is actually a really, really nice size. Um, and I do have my Luminara candles in there to illuminate them right now. So let's lower the light so you can see them. Um, I end up getting four. You only have C3 here because one is still wrapped up. I got two of the small, two of the mediums. One of the mediums is definitely destined to go to my mom's house um, and perhaps one other of these. I'm not quite sure <laughs> where I'm going to put them because I actually really like the accessories I got last fall um, from Yankee. I got the, uh, the fall, you know, the twilight silhouette, which you see, and um, I also got a set called Auto Mosaic, and I thought the two pieces really blend well together, and I, I just really liked both of them. So I don't know where I'm gonna fit these pumpkin pieces in, but these were out at White Barn last year, and I was really eyeing them. I wanted to get one for my mom at the time, and then I, I couldn't make up my mind, and by the time I made up my mind I wanted to get one, it was sold out. So when I saw it this year, I said, well, I know I at least want to get her one, and I do like it for myself. Um, so how I'm going to use it, you'll just have to stay tuned and see what I do with that. But I got it. Um, so I guess that's it. I don't think I have anything else to talk about. That was basically my haul, I think. Am I forgetting anything? I don't know. Um, now, oh, with the pumpkin holders, last year they were White Barn exclusives. But... I found the first set, because I bought two sets. I did a medium large yesterday, a medium and large today. The first set I actually found at Bath and Body Works. So apparently you can get these at Bath and Body Works. Now at Bath and Body Works, they gave me um, another 10 off of 30 coupon. But at White Barn, they gave me a 20% off coupon. So there's a couple of those floating around. And I guess I'm gonna wrap it up. So if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day. Isn't that pretty?